Jesus asked me, that's why I never sing along to this song. I don't know that there are any words, and if there were, I sure as heck wouldn't be singing. Do 
the 56. 36 for Ricky Roberts and Ron Weston. Roberts down to the inside, fights his way through. Ricky Roberts taking over the lead. Ron Weston right behind, and here comes Charlie Charlie Oh! Oh, man. How about Rick Flurry? In turn three, he's the leader. In turn four, he's in sixth place. That's getting shuffled, friends. Checkers are out of this Ricky Roberts. Ricky Roberts wins it. Sergeant Charlie and Mark Barney are in that order. Oh boy. Once it gets dark, we're going to have to look, but just judging from the first two heats, I got a feeling we're under a full moon tonight. Sergeant Charlie, the 74, is second. Third to the zero of Mark Barnier. And ladies and gentlemen, your winner, the Stone Service, 36 for Ricky Roberts. Dragon something, Rick. Yeah, I know. I like it that way. Get the hands together. 36, your winner in heat number two, Ricky Roberts. Third round qualifier. We got some heavy hitters ready to go on this one. Oh no, bad news to start things off. Steve Lovely was slated to go pole, but he's not there. One of the Lovely lovers tonight. Uh, they're dwindling. You blew a motor last week and the Lovely Lovers are not quite as enthusiastic. The 87, Ron Lowell will be your point man. The 19, Jerry Humiston starts outside. The double zero is Joe Stephan, 58. Brendan Moody, Big Daddy, and his racing caddy. Don LeHue in the 69. The 77 of Frenchie LaFountain. Rapid Ralph Rockwell in the 81. The one of Jimmy Young. And riding out back, George White. The Thunder Road, uh, the uh, Airborne runner in his first shot at Thunder Road. George White in the Rustic Auto car number three. Weekly competitor at Airborne, and he's ready to tackle the very high bank. Jerry Humiston, the 19. Off the outside pole is your leader. Right behind the 58 of Brandon Moody. Bill Stephens in a bit of difficulty. He'll get over it. 87, Ron Lowe. 58, Brandon Moody on the outside moving up. Right behind Frenchie LaFountain in the 77 for third place. Frenchie LaFountain, 77. Right behind is Jimmy Young. Jimmy Young in the one, the point leader in the street division, bashing his way, crashing his way out of the back of the pack. Keep an eye on the number one machine. Chicken moves him up and continues on. And Jerry Humiston is long gone in the 19. Battle is for second, 58 for Andy Moody. 77, Virtue of Mountain and Jimmy Young in the war. Jimmy Young, oh, he gets them both on the inside. What a move by Jimmy Young. The point leader goes from fourth to second and Virtue of Mountain's a little bit upset. 77, LaFountain goes to third. Brandon Moody, 58 is fourth, and Big Daddy with two to go. White flag coming out of this one to walk over. No contest at the front of the pack. Big Daddy going to the outside in the Cadillac. The 69 walks third before it's over, fourth rather. Checkered flag is coming out. No contest in heat number three. Jerry Humiston, your winner. Jimmy Young is second. Frenchie LaFountain, Brendan Moody, and Big Daddy. Daddy, Don LaHue, fifth in the 69. Fourth, the 58 of Brenda Moody. Frenchy LaFountain, the 77, takes home third. Second spot to the point leader, Jimmy Young. And ladies and gentlemen, dominating performance in heat number three, wire to wire for Jerry Humiston.
number four for the Allen Lumber Street Stocks. Steve Craddock in the 65 will go pole outside the 71 of Wild Bill Barkham. The 04, Francis Miller. The 68. Now it says Spuds McKenzie, and I'll bet it's Wild Wally again, and I'll bet he didn't report in for the second race in a row, so I'll bet he's wasting his time out there. Well, maybe it's Spuds, I don't know. Jack, is that you? Wave to me. Hard to tell. Well, last week, Wild Wally drove Spuds McKenzie's car, didn't tell anybody, so he was doing it for nothing, but that's okay. The 78 is Don Lowell, Wes Abbey in the 53, Dizzy Dean Gallison in the 7th, Ryan Brian Williams, 64. Then Monty Lemaire and Brent Courier riding shotgun as we go green. Three wide in turn two. Three wide and Brian Brian's up in no man's land. 64, Brian Williams is not in a good place. little pirouette. Steve Craddock says, yellow flag, I'd better lock up those brakes. Tyler Bill is trying to buy a, li a ride in the Napa Legends. He can buy a, he can buy a Tiger for a couple of hundred. There you go. Chris Durkee, 
And riding shotgun, the 83 machine from Barry Bryan Campbell. This ought to be a dandy. Ten laps for the Pepsi Flying Tigers. Heat number one to the line for green. Bryan Campbell down to the infield takes one. And Gary Cowan is your leader. Side by side for second, 49. Mark Lanfear, 69. Flipper hanging it out there after getting it upside down. It turned two a week ago, but that car is struggling right now. The flipper got a handful. Lansier goes to second, Richard goes to third, and here comes the 27 of Burger Blake. Burger Blake, the 89 track champion, and the 27 on the inside for fourth place. Rupert Irwin, Rim rides it on the outside. The flipper's not going to give it up. 69 Owen driving the wheels off that car. How about the flipper? Had it on its roof a week ago, but it didn't scare him. Here he comes on a four. Roper Owen gets it down the hard way. Wheel to wheel with Richard Bootsy. 13 Bootsy. 69 Owen side by side. Oh, 
position now. Right behind the 07, Dennis Carrot.
up now for the number five spot. The zero, Brent Dragon, 68, Jim Silly going to work on the outside. Silly in the 68, looking high, Dragon drifts in front of him. Full contact racing in turn number two. Pete Becko down pit road, the 75 is out of it. of Scott Carpenter. Kent Stockwell, third in the number 16 automobile. Second spot in another solid run for the 31 of Lance Berno. And ladies and gentlemen, carrying the checkered flag in heat number three, despite some problems late in the going, the Ghost Land Granite. Car number 85, Mike Pelkey, your winner. It's a wire off the outside point, the 85 from Barry Mike Pelkey. Heat number four, rolling onto the speedway. The number 14, the New Boys Construction. Powers Recycling, car number 14 for Phil Scott of Morrisville. Outside Scott, the veteran from Hyde Park, Red Me in the Ford Thunderbird. Dave Gibbs, the 97, will start inside of row number two, outside the number 12 for Bob McCaskill. Dave Whitcomb in the Turbo Blue, car number 25 goes next in line, outside. The Simmons Cable, car number four for Big Bigelow. The 46, Doug Hoare, inside row four. Outside, Pat Corbett in the five. Joy LeCarrie, car number 15, and riding shotgun, the International Series leader, car number double zero, Stevie Miller. Green flag is out, we're racing in heat four. Side by side action as the Ford Thunderbirds go at it. Phil Scott, inside in the 14, red lead outside in the number one machine. 14, Scott going high, McCaskill wants a three deep, can't find the room on the back two. Red Mead takes the leading count of a one. Scott back to the inside, wants it back. Boss Hogg, your leader in count number one. Scott running in second, and here comes Big Bigelow. Bigelow in the four, Corbett in the five, beginning to move on the outside line. Big Bigelow goes to second, side by side for third, the 14 of Scott, the five, Pat Corbett on the outside. Bumping in turn number one, Corbett takes over the number three spot. Steve Miller fights his way out of the back for the number six position. Pat Corbett down to the inside for second now. Great racing all the way through the field. Red Me, Pat Corbett, and Big Bigelow. One, two, three at the front of the pack. Boss Hogg trying to hold him off. Here comes Bigelow.
solid run at the front of the pack for Big Bigelow. As the sophomore driver gets better and better with every passing week, he's got the win in heat number four. The Pulitzer Insurance Pontiac Big Bigelow from St. Johnsbury. Pat Corbett in the five gets the number two spot. The proceeds go to the point fund, half go to tonight's winner. How about it one more time, ladies and gentlemen? Big Bigelow, heat four winner. All right. Update. Partstown, Boy Scout. All right, as the sun begins to set, the Allen Lumber Street Stocks rolling out for their semi-feature. The 19, Jerry Humister. He's had one checkered flag in his hand tonight, and he'll go for two off the inside point. Outside, the number 60 of Rosaire Sear. The Burlington bad boy. Bobby Dragon, 51 is third. 6, 36 from Ricky Roberts. Mark Barnier of the zero, the 38, Claude Cross. Flying Brian Williams in charge and Charlie Benoit inside and out in row four. The Enduro Warrior, Monty Lemaire in the 48, then Jimmy Young, Brent Courier, and Frenchie LaFountain. Street Stocks ready to roll in the semi-feature. Down to the line they come. Green flag is out of their way. 19, Jerry Humiston is there, three deep already. Claude Cross hung up on the outside, has to give up a spot. Jerry Humiston, 19, your leader. Rambling Rose there, Steer in second, slams it on, Bobby Dragon. Dragon in the 51 gets hammered. 36, Ricky Rose. there in the weeds. Claude Cross is in it. I don't think anybody made contact with anybody or anything, so they should be right back. Field under caution as the street stock semi begins to shake it up. And we're still missing flying Brian Williams. I didn't see the trees bounce up there. I don't think he hit anything. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, officer. Have a nice day. But Jimmy Young now is sixth. Courier, LaFountain, Roberts, Cross, Dragon, and Flyer. Here we go. They'll try it again. They're already under green. The flag just hasn't confirmed it yet. There we go. Jerry Humister in the 19 by half a car length. I'm coming back. You guys better make a hole. And they do. 19. Humus, the new leader. Rose Air Sear, second, and here comes the Warrior. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, man. They got... Oh, no, no, Claude, stop! Yo! Oh, Lordy, they got him again. The man... Who put the sign that says, kick me on the back of my car? Oh, man. Yeah, his, his fan club sitting right out here. Like, yeah, you might think it's funny, but i got to paint that thing. Michael's on the evening news service at 5 p.m. weekdays. WDEV, your number one choice for news and sports. Let's try it again, fellas. Humiston and Sear in row number one for three. Once again, it's Jerry Humiston. Humiston in the 19, and right behind, here comes the Warrior. The Enduro Warrior, Monty Lemaire, beginning to move inside now. 48, Monty Lemaire taking over second. Back comes the Deathmobile. Rose Sear wants it back in the 60. Smoke flying everywhere. I don't know if that's good or not. It's not good if you're Monty Lemaire. Monty Lemaire's got a right rear tire rubbing on the uh, sheet metal. What a great feeling. You know it's rubbing. The question is, will it last through this corner? Ah, yeah, he did. Nineteen, Jerry Humister. Forty-eight, Monty Lemaire about to suffocate himself, but he's still second. Yes, 
Hurry! Look out, boys. You don't want to run that over. Oh, man. They ran over Mark Bonnier, but they don't want to run over that tire and wheel. Get out of there, pace car! All right. Look at this. These guys are just kind of setting their own pace. They hit the green flag on the back straightaway. They're just waiting for John Homer to confirm. And he does. Sideways and shoots a 
across the track. Lance Berner took a hard wreck of the door of the 31 machine. Kent Stockwell and Rupert Irwin got a small piece of the action, not a lot of damage on those machines. Safety crews headed for the back chute, Karen and Berno. Gary Karen is out of car number 22. He's a pick for car number 31, Lance Berno. His best ever finish off the Tiger Tour last week here at Thunder Road when he finished second to Steve Miller beneath. I know that they've got some trouble underneath. But the way that car is riding side saddle down pit road, he may have bent something. The 22, Gary Karen going up on the hook. They'll take him out back as well. And from the DEV crew in the parking lot tonight, we'll be giving away a whole lot more during intermission. Steve Baroni's just trying to rest up right now. He, he strained his handing hand, so he may have to wait. Green flag coming out this time. 85 help. Final chance 
to qualify for these Pepsi Flying Tiger drivers, only the top three finishers will advance to the main event. Car number 92, Chris Durkee in the Sheldon Mini Mark machine. Outside, the number 80 from Ontario Pike Death. Jim Silly, car number 68, forced to the B feature tonight, will start third. Outside, the 97 from Jericho is Dave Gibbs. John Paul Sear, the 32, starts fifth. Outside, the 93 from Barry Bryan Coburn. The number 57 being driven tonight by Chuck Beatty. He'll go inside row four. Outside, the number 15 is Joey LeClaire. Brian Campbell in the Carter Sprinkler 83 machine goes next to line. Outside, the 29 from Waterbury, Brett Wheeler. Brian Hoare in the number 45. The 25 is Dave Winkham. Roger Poulin in the number 7. The 07 is Dennis Keller. The number 44 machine, Dean Kennedy on the inside of the next row. The 46 is Doug Hoare. David Gay in the 19. 75, Peter Fecto. And riding shotgun from Morrisville, the 14 of Bill Scott. The 20 lap, B feature for the Tigers. Chris Durkee and the 80 of Mike Knapp coming down for a green flag. Here they come, bring it down. Outside gets the break. Outside gets the break, Michael Knapp, the 80 by half a car length, your leader. 92, Durkee, 68, Jim Silly, and the 97 of David Gibbs. Chris Durkee all over the track in the 92. The final qualified automobile. He's not happy with third. He looks to move like that. Oh, Dave gets in trouble. Gibbs takes it all the way around. Field taking evasive action. Everybody gets to it. Great piece of driving by David Gibbs. And here comes Jimmy Silly, the 68, going to work outside for the number two. Still leading by number 68. Takes it over the second spot. 92, Chris Durkee is third, and here comes Chuck Beatty. Beatty, the 57, dirt tracking it through the corner. Chuck Beatty, the former Flying Tiger champion in car number 57. He is one spot out of the money. Beatty needs one more to qualify. Chuck Beatty closing in, down to the inside, will take it away. Beatty takes the final three in first spot. Fifty-seven, Chuck Beatty, now the man on the hot seat. The sixty-eight, Jim Stilley, chose him second. Mike Knapp, the number eighty, is your leader. Oh, and third four, Bill Scott sitting down to the infield. We'll get it refired.
Carnaby to the main event with a win of the beat feature Mike Dad for the Pizza Auto Carnival Rating. Yes, the lights are on around the speedway for the first time in 91. Summer is officially here. <laughs> All right, top three drivers climbing out down in victory lane. Let's get a number three man over here, Brian Campbell, the 83 machine. And I'll now begin with uh, the third dumbest question of the night. Are you going to take the money and go home, or are you going on into the DEV Trophy Dash? Oh, we're definitely going for it. I thought you might. 83, Brian Campbell will take one for the main. Second dumbest question of the night, you going or stay? We're going. All right, Jim Silly will be number two to the main. And now for the truly stupid question, going to race again tonight? Well, of course. What a surprise. Three for the main tonight. Mike Knapp, Jim Silly, Brian Campbell, one, two, three in the B. Triple crown, your leader. Fully a second. The 
up to fourth. Ralph Rockwell in the 81, right behind him in the number five position. Jerry Huberson shows the way. 60, Roseanne Sear, Brian Bryant, Mike Rivers, and Rapid Ralph Rockwell. Rockwell going to the outside, wants to look at the number four spot. Rapid Ralph goes to the high side in the Thunder Chicken. Rockwell in the 81 going to work. Chevrolet on the inside. Ford on the outside for fourth place. Trouble in three. Whoa! The Spudster gets nailed and goes around. Mackenzie back on the way. We stay green. Jerry Humiston with the lead. Second spot the 60 of Rose Air Sear. Third in the 64. Side by side, Mike Rivers, Ralph Rockwell, three wide in the face. Three wide with Rockwell on the outside. Ralph Rockwell rim rides it to the wall and gets third. What a great drive by Ralph Rockwell. Rockwell going for second on the outside. The Thunder Chicken beginning to roll. A 
they're all down here pointing to each other's damage, seeing who's got more. I think Brent Courier is the winner in the damage department. The right front tire is not even there anymore. It's just a rim. Third spot, Brent Courier in car number 30. That was, uh, how'd you even get this thing home like that? What happened? I don't have any idea. You were closer to it than I was, you tell me. Yeah, I was in the middle, that's, a, that's for sure, but it was a wild one. It was wild. The, lap, the uh, first, second, and third place cars were three wide, and right in front of you, the lap cars were three wide. Yeah, nobody wanted to give, but <laughs> that's the way it goes. I think tonight you come away with third place and say, thank goodness. Yeah, I'm happy. <laughs> I can't complain, that's for sure. I'd like to thank my sponsors and pit crew. Good job. Brent Courier from Johnson, car number 30 for third tonight. The, uh, the Death Mobile, looking like death warmed over after this one. Rosair Sear, nice job, Pose, in the 60. I, uh, I think you got a little bit hooked up coming down for the green there. Did the bumpers lock on you? Yeah, we didn't have too much place to go, and we made it. Hey, when the chips are down, you do what you got to do. It was a great show. I enjoyed it. All right, second place for the Death Mobile, Rosair Sear. And here's the man of the hour, three for three tonight, the triple crown, and boy, it was just a walk in the park for Jerry Humiston tonight. <laughs> hey, listen to that. I think they like you on the bank, Jerry. I'll tell you what, going down the back chute on the last lap, when you see the lap guys going three wide, you said, man, this is not my night. Well, it was close. Woo. This car's really hooked up tonight. I want to thank my sponsors, LaRoche, Hillside Hobby, Cupid's Connection, Bob's Deli, Mike Rollins, everybody that helped me. Now, Man, that was fun! That was fun. Now, wait a minute. Be honest with me now. Be honest with me. Were you sure whether or not you'd won this thing as you came across backwards? Well, I was pretty sure, yeah. All right. Well, you got a triple crown tonight. Can't do any better. Jerry Humiston, the 19, ladies and gentlemen. Let him hear it for a great job tonight. Yes, sir. Hey, that kid's a racer. Yes, sir. Of the evening, the WDEV Trophy Dash. Here on opening night, 1991 at the nation's side of excitement. Ready to go, on the point. Driving car number 85 and looking strong in qualifying. The Ghostland Granite, Memorial Sandblast, Plymouth Reliant. Car number 85 is Mike Pelkey. Outside point, multi-time feature winner here at Thunder Road, driving car number 49. The Bouchard Excavating, Pontiac, from Morrisville, Mark Lamphere. And it's a family affair inside of row number two, the Arthur's Department Store Buick. Car number 40, the defending International Series champion, Dwayne Lanfear, car number 40. Alongside Lanfear, looking very fast here tonight, the Tillers Automotive. Illers RV Sales, car number 55, the Kentucky Colonel Tom Tiller. <laughs> row number three on the inside, the Blue and Paint, TC Catering Buick. Car number five from Williamstown, Pat Corbett. And alongside Corbett, in post position number six tonight, the number 23 machine from Plainfield, the SNL Auto Supply, car number 23, Mike Potter. Inside of row number four, slated to go seventh this evening, the BNR Racing Ford Thunderbird from Hyde Park, Baltog Redmead in car number one. And alongside me, last year's Pepsi Flying Tiger Rookie of the Year from Randolph, Vermont. In car number 16, the Randolph Auto Supply, Buick Kip Stockwell. <laughs> Row number five, post position number nine. One of the up and coming drivers on the Tiger Tour, the Poulos Insurance, Simmons Cable, car number four from St. Johnsbury, Big Bigelow. Outside Bigelow, back strong after a wild ride one week ago, car number 69 from Waterbury. Driving the VM's general contracting, Midas Buick Flipper Irwin in the 69. Sixth row on the inside, the JNA Enterprises, Buick Skylark. Car number 13 from Williston, Vermont, Richard Bootsy. And outside Bootsy, multi-time feature winner here on the Barry High Banks from Warren, Vermont. The Kingsbury Construction Oldsmobile, Storman Norman Andrews. Back across the start-finish line to row number seven. And the current International Series point leader for the Pepsi Flying Tigers. Driving car number double zero, the Suntan Sams, Pontiac 6000, Steve Miller, the double zero. 
And outside Miller with a new ride here tonight, the former Chuck Beatty automobile driving car number 36, the Nakayo Concepts, car number 36, and Scott Carpenter. Next row back on the inside, all torn up here on the front straightaway one week ago. The Ernie's Garage, East Barry Auto, car number 27, former track champion, Burger Blake from Barry, Vermont. And outside Blake comes the Lake Maury Inn, Chevrolet Malibu, car number 09 from Orford, New Hampshire, Mark Marsh. Next row back on the inside line, the familiar car number zero. The Green Mountain Forest Products, Oldsmobile Cutlers. From Milton, Vermont, Brent, Dragon in the zero. Alongside Dragon in the number 12 machine. The Looper Plate, Clark Investment, Chrysler, New Yorker. From Williamstown, Vermont, Bob McCaskill. Starting 19th on the field inside of row number 10. The GM Team Racing, Pete's Auto Buick, winner of the B feature tonight, Mike Knapp from Montpelier and car number 80. Outside Knapp, also by virtue of a top finish in the B feature tonight, the Maple Avenue Deli Mart, car number 83 from Barry, Vermont, Brian Campbell. One of the high flyers on the International Series and here at Thunder Road. The Times Argus, Darling Trucking, Oldsmobile Calais, car number 68 from Groton, Vermont, and Jim Silly. Outside Silly, driving car number 29 from Waterbury, Vermont. The Vermont rental property, Chevrolet Brett Wheeler. Next row back on the inside, also by virtue of a top finish in the B feature, car number 25, the Turbo Blue Racing Gasolines Oldsmobile from Essex Junction, Dave Whitcomb. <laughs> Alongside Whitcomb, hopping a ride tonight in the Jim Barton car number 57. Former track champion here at the nation's side of excitement, Chuck Beatty. Well, apparently they've swapped it back. Jim Barton is back in the car. Sorry, Jimmy, my eyes are going bad. Jim Barton back in the 57 and riding shotgun on the field by the plan one option tonight. Driving car number 75, the Riverview Garage. Car number 75 from Morrisville, Peter Fecto. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that is the starting lineup for tonight's WDEV Trophy Dash. We ask now that you please rise for our national anthem. Be gentlemen, start your engines. Twenty-five cars strong, coming to life on the front straightaway. Mike Pelkey, car number 85, the Dodge Aries. The Pontiac of Mark Lanfear, car number 49 on the outside. Then Dwayne Lanfear and Tom Tiller in row number two. Don't count out the Kentucky Colonel. He has turned more laps on this track than any driver in competition tonight. Tom Tiller running very strongly in the early qualifying round. Pat Corbett in car number five will start on the inside of row three. Pontiac will go side by side in row number one. Dwayne Lanfear and Tom Tiller in two, then Pat Corbett and Mike Potter. Potential winners all the way back through the field. The pace car is in, in turn number three, 50-lap main event to come. 
field in turn number three. Mike Pelkey setting the slow pace. Here they come out of turn number four. Green flag is out and we're underway. On the outside line, Mark Lanfear in the 49 with a fender up for the lead. Pelkey back strong on the inside will take it. Racing in at turn number three. Pelkey in the 85-year leader. Trouble on the back shoot. Three cars off. Scott Carpenter is over the top. Richard Bootsy also involved. We've got a car backward into the wall. It's the Mike Potter automobile in turn four. So less than half a lap in the record book. And the caution flag is out in the early going of the DDB Trophy Dash here at Thunder Road. At least one car over the top in turn number three. Road, here comes the 13. Richard Bootsy coming back. Richard Bootsy in the JNA Enterprises machine returns from the garage, still no sign of Scott Carpenter. Pace car is in on the back straightaway, we're set to go. Pelkey in the 85, 49, Mark Lanfear, Mopar down low, Pontiac up high, take one is out, take one on the field. As the 36 of Scott Carpenter appears at the top of pit road, they'll take one for Carpenter to join. Carpenters, car number 36 will make it back, so we are back to our original starting field and set for green this time. Pelkey and Lanfear, then Dwayne Lanfear and Tom Tiller. This time they'll look for a start. Out of turn number four, green is out, and Pelkey with a huge break comes away. Mike Pelkey leads him into turn one and two. Mark Lanfear ducking down into the low groove to hold second. Here comes Dwayne Lanfear on the outside, challenging for the number two spot. The Lanfear brothers going door to door at the start finish line. Mark Lanfear, 49, no contest as Dwayne Lanfear and now Tom Tiller blow around on the outside. The Kentucky Colonel, Tom Tiller, high to the outside of Mark Lanfear, has the first spot at the line by a nose. Lanfear down low, Tiller up high as they continue the battle down the back straightaway. Dwayne Lanfear wants a piece of the lead. The defending international champion going to the front in a hurry. He pulls alongside Pelkey in turn number one. Side by side, Pelkey down low. Lanfear up high as they battle for the number one position. Nobody getting the break through three. Out of four, at the line, it's Lanfear by a nose. Dwayne Lanfear in the number 40 machine. Trouble on the front shoot. Mike Knapp getting into it with Brent Dragon. Both cars down to the infield. That's car number 80 down on the apron of the racetrack. Field coming down, they'll put a lap on Knapp, who gets it underway and will stay green. Tough break for Mike Knapp, the hard charger from Montpelier, Vermont. As he loses a lap to the field, Brent Dragon may do so in just a moment. He is back underway, but not running well. Battle continues to wage at the front of the pack. 85, Mike Pelkey, the 40, Dwayne Lanfear, bumping each other on the back shoot. Lanfear, almost the full car length in front, but Pelkey keeps his foot in the door in turn four. Lanfear at the start finish line now pulls away, hits it back down into the low groove and holds the lead. Down the back straightaway they go. Lanfear, then a car length back to Mike Pelkey in second. Third spot belongs to the 55 of Tom Tiller. 49, Lanfear, Mark Lanfear in the fourth spot. Fifth is the five of Pat Gordon. In sixth is Mike Potter. Kip Stockwell is seventh. Steve Miller is all the way up to the number eight spot. Ninth belongs to Norm Andrews. And on the outside, breaking into the top ten is Burger Blake. Blake, the Triple Crown winner two weeks ago here at Thunder Road, beginning to get it dialed. As right behind him, racing into the number 11 spot is Jim Silly. Leaders come down, put a lap on the 13 of Richard Bootsy. Brent Dragon takes his automobile down pit road. Dragon in the top five of the International Series will have a bad finish here tonight as the number zero is on pit road. Leaders racing traffic on the front straightaway. Blaine Lanfear now with three car lengths in hand over at Mike Pelkey. Pelkey in the road car, showing in second, but he's got a rear view mirror full of Tom Tiller. 12 laps complete in the WDEV Trophy Dash. 12 laps complete, 38 remaining. And the battle now is for second. Mike Pelkey in the 85 trying to hold off Tom Tiller. The Kentucky Colonel all over the back bumper of the youngster as they race the front straightaway. 
The last automobile of Hard Marsh will hold him at bay at least for a moment. Dwayne Landfear continuing to pull away from the field. Lead by five callings in three and four. Pelkey is second. Right on his back bumper is Tom Dillard. And two lanes back to Mark Landfear, Pat Corbett, and the 23 of Mike Potter. And out of the back of the pack, three cars on the move. The double zero, Steve Miller, 27, Berger Blake, and Jim Shilley in the 68. They have come from way out back. They've been flying in tandem on the outside line, and they have broken into the top ten now. They make their way around Kip Stockwell in car number 16. Around Norm Andrews in the number two machine. Miller, Berger Blake, Stockwell, and Shilley working the high groove on the front straightaway. On the back shoot, Wayne Landfear continues to show the way in car number 40. Landfear holding on to that five car length advantage. He put some space between himself and the number two car of Mike Pelkey and now seems content just to ride it out and deal with the lap traffic. Trouble on the back straightaway, Richard Bootsy goes around. The 13 for the second time tonight facing the wrong way. Backs it down into the infield, he's out of harm's way and will stay green. Jim Silly almost gets a piece of the wall in turn four. Silly getting together with the number 16 of Kip Stockwell. Whoa, Scott Carpenter's off the back. Carpenter has blown a motor. There is fluid all over the racetrack in turn two. The leaders all make it through. And we are under caution for the second time tonight in the WDEB Trophy Dash. The back of the pack. Steve Miller tonight started 15. Berger Blake started 16. They are in the top 10 with 18 laps complete. Take one on the field. Here comes Kip Stockwell from the pits. The 13, Richard Bootsy back. And this time by Will Go Racing. Lights are down on the Cody Chevrolet pace car. Dwayne Lampier in the last automobile of Jim Barton. Mike Pelkey and Tom Tiller in row two. Mark Lampier and Pat Corbett in three. Row four to Mike Potter and Berger Blake, then Steve Miller and the lap car of Rupert Irwin. Field is set for a start in four. Down to the line they come. Green flag is out of their race. Lampier on the inside, pulling away right behind the 85, Mike Pelkey. Battle is for third. 49, Mark Lampier trying to fill the hole downstairs underneath the Tom Tiller machine. Lampier goes to third. Miller trapped up high between Jim Barton and the wall. Can't find room to race. Barton in the 57. Sifts it back down to the low groove. And here comes Tom Tiller back on the outside. The Kentucky Colonel now has some open racetrack. He drives back around Mark Lampier. Side by side for the number three spot. Lampier down low. Tiller up high. It's Tom Tiller in turn four. Wayne Lampier once again extending the two-car length advantage. Mike Pelkey second, then five back to Tiller, who puts the lap car of Barton down in turn four. Mark Lampier in fourth. Mike Potter on the outside in fifth. Trap down. Oh, look out! Potter gets into the back of Lampier, and they go around. Cars all over the track in two. Norm Andrews goes over the top. Mark Lampier facing the wrong way. Mike Potter going backwards on the back shoot. As Potter and Lanfear tangle battling for the number four position, Field is under caution once again at Thunder Road. The Bob McCaskill, 14. 15 is Michael Knapp, followed by Pete Fecto, Kip Stockwell, Mike Potter, Mark Lanfear, and Rupert Irwin. 22 laps complete, three shy of the halfway mark as they come down for green. And that's going to cost him second. It's going to cost him third as Tiller and Steve Miller fight their way under. Berger Blake makes a hole in four. And the 27 automobile goes to fourth place. Mike Pelkey gave it a hard ride into turn one on the restart, trying to steal the lead. But instead, he's going to go all the way back. Dave Winkett moves underneath for fifth. Right behind the Jim Silly automobile, the Pelkey slams the door on the front straightaway. Mike Pelkey, the 85, drop kick back to the number six position. Dwayne Lanfear, Tom Tiller, and Steve Miller on the move out of four. Miller, the International Series point leader after taking the win on opening day 
and airborne. Up to the number three spot. Berger Blake, just a car length back in fourth. Fifth, the 25 of Dave Wickham. Sixth spot is Mike Pelkey. Seventh is Jim Silly. Pat Corbett is eighth. Ninth is Brent. Wheeler Red B rounds out the top ten. Top five cars. Nose to tail, single file. Down the back, shoot into three and four. Berger Blake takes the set to the outside of Steve Miller. Can't find the room to race. Gets it back in line as the top five cars begin to pull away. The battle now for the number six spot. It's Jim Silly going to the outside of Mike Pelkey. Pelkey, who was in the hunt for the Triple Crown, now is going backwards in the Mopar runner. 68, Jim Silly takes over the number six position, and he'll try and chase down the leaders on the back shoot. Dwayne Lanfear, Tom Tiller, Steve Miller, Murder Blake, and Dave Wick in the top five. And five car lanes. Back to the 68 of Silly. Seventh spot belongs to Pelkey. Eighth is Pat Corbin. Brett Wheeler, ninth. Red Bean, tenth. Then it's Norm Andrews and the 83, Brian Campbell. Berger Blake once again takes a look to the outside of Steve Miller. But once again can't find the traction. Top two cars are beginning to pull away. Miller may be in trouble. Steve Miller losing touch with the lead pair now. Lanfear in the 40, the 55 of Miller, then five car lengths back to Steve Miller. The International Series point leader trying to keep contact with the leaders, but he's falling back on the front straightaway. Berger Blake beginning to put on the pressure as the back end of car number double zero begins to come out from under Steve Miller. The handle is going away on the suntan Sam's machine, and Miller is going to have to fight to hold on to the number three spot. Berger Blake right on his back bumper out of turn number two for fourth. Fifth spot still Dave Whitcomb. Jim Silly, the number six car, beginning to close ground, but he's still about seven lengths behind that pack. 35 laps are complete. 35 complete. 15 remaining in the WDEV trophy dash, and it continues to be Dwayne Lanfear. Lanfear in the number 40. Once again, beginning to pull away from the pack. Lanfear with five lengths in hand over Tom Tiller. The Kentucky Colonel second, then five more. Back to Steve Miller in third. Berger Blake in the fourth spot. Dave Whitkin putting the pressure on in fifth. But right now it is a two-man show. Lanfear and Tiller at the front of the parade as they exit four. Lanfear with a straightaway. Oh, Berger Blake is off it. Berger Blake pulls it down to the infield in car number 27. And that's the night for the number four automobile. Blake in the 27 running fourth takes it to the infield and shuts it down. Fourth place automobile, now the 25 of Dave Winkin. Jim Silly in the 68 inherit fifth as the leaders now begin to work their way on lap traffic. Wayne Lanfear into turn number one. First in line to go a lap down will be the 69 of Rupert Irwin. Then Pete Fecto, Tim Stockwell, and Mark Lanfear, who had run among the leaders tonight. Wayne Lanfear to the outside of the Rupert Irwin automobile as we've got 10 laps remaining. Trouble on the back shoot. Two cars spinning. The Mike Potter automobile getting into it with, I believe, Michael Knapp as the caution flag comes out. Ten laps remaining, and we are under yellow. It's going to be a stretch drive to the finish in the DEV Trophy Dash at Thunder Road. Ladies and gentlemen, a strong run tonight. As we go green this time, they'll look to get it in the record book. Wayne Lanfear has dominated all the way, but now Tom Tiller, the veteran, may have something in store. Here they come. Out of turn number four, Chief Carter John Hobart looks him over, sends him away with a green flag. Tom Tiller on the outside has a piece of the action. Lanfear, though, pulls away on the back shoot, and here comes Steve Miller. Double zero, Steve Miller down to the inside of Tiller trying to take step. Right behind the 68, Jim Silly and Pat Corbin in the five. The Kentucky Colonel now going backwards. Tiller trapped on the outside. The 09, Mark Marr, 75. Pete Fecto in trouble is due. They're back going the way and will stay green. Dwayne Lanfear out on top. Two by two for the second.
second, third, fourth, and fifth. Miller battling Tiller side by side for second. Silly down to the inside of Dave. Whitcomb picks one up. confrontation in turn number two as the second and third place cars get together. Oh man, what a heartbreaker. Steve Miller and Tom Tiller battling nose to nose for second and third. They came upon the lap car of Mark Marsh and nobody gave it in. Up to ninth and Kip Stockwell is tenth in the number 16 machine unofficially. Well, ladies and gentlemen, as they give him the ride back, how about a great round of applause for Tom Tiller? Had a heck of a ride tonight in the number 55. Lampier and Silly, Whitcomb and Corbett, Pelkey and the lap car of Scott Carpenter, and Brian Campbell and Storm and Norman Andrews. 21 laps complete. Or 41, rather, nine remain. 20, uh, 41 down, nine remaining. Here they come. Lampier and Silly for the green. They've got it. Lampier, a great jump, pulls away. Jim Silly forced to duck back into the low groove to hold on to second. Side by side battle for third and fourth. The 25, Dave Whitcomb inside. Pat Corbett on the outside. Nose to nose they go. Whitcomb down low. Corbin up high. Give it to Whitcomb on the back straightaway, and here comes Mike Pelkey back into it. Young Mike Pelkey is not going to give this one up. He is back to the number four spot now. Pelkey down low goes underneath the Pat Corbett machine. Corbett drop kick back to fifth, and he'll lose more. The lap car of Chuck Beatty moving under, and right behind him comes Brian Pando. Pat Corbett hung out to dry, and no room at the end right now as Beatty moves underneath. Five laps to go for Dwayne Lampier as he exits turn number four. Lampier, Silly, and Whitcomb. One, two, three in single file. Silly right on the back bumper of the leader, but can't do anything with him as they race the back shoot. Battle continuing for the number five and six position. Brian Campbell down to the inside of Pat Corbin takes it away. Campbell, the 83, now in fifth. Corbett back to six. Then Norm Andrews and Big Bigelow. Less than five laps remaining for Dwayne Lampier. He'll move up on the last automobile of Bob McCaskill. McCaskill receives the passing play. Oh, no, Mike Pelkey has blown it up. The fifth place automobile goes up in smoke in turn two. Two laps to go. Oh, fire under the hood of the 85. Yellow flag is out. The 85 is up in flames in the infield. Pelkey's car going up in flames as we are under caution. Mike Pelkey bails out of the automobile. The fire extinguishers are in use, and it appears the fire is out under the hood of car number 85. Lanfear and Silly in row one. Whitcomb and Campbell in two. Corbett and Andrews in three. Row four, Big Bigelow and Mike Knapp. Row five, Mark Lanfear and Red Mead. Here they come. It's on the line with three to go. Down to the line they come and got a green. Lanfear drives away with it. Whitcomb trying to pull underneath Jim Silly. Whitcomb with a fender underneath, trying to take second place. Two laps to go this time, and it's going to be a drag race. Lanfear, your leader. Side by side for second. Whitcomb on the inside. Silly on the outside. Brian Campbell sideways on the back shoot gets bumped. And Pat Corbett moves underneath. Whoa, Campbell is off the track. Campbell over the top in turn four, and the white flag is out. White flag is out. The battle for the lead is over. Dwayne Lanfear is out in front. Whitcomb pulling underneath, gets second. Checkers are out. Lanfear, your winner. Dave Whitcomb second. Jim Silly, Pat Corbett, and Sturman, Norman Andrews, the top five finishers. A great finish for Dwayne Lanfear as he drives away on the restart. Dave Whitcomb follows him through for second. Jim Silly gets the third. A great run tonight in the DEV Trophy Dash.
for the WDEV Trophy. Let's get our third place finisher down here, Jim Silly in car number 68. Jimmy, tremendous drive tonight. It all came down to that, that last restart for second and third. Yeah, we were we were hoping for no more cautions, but it's just one of those things. You know. Kyle, we kind of used up the tire getting up there, and the last 10 laps, we just didn't have it. I think he could have had all the shots he wanted at Dwayne tonight. He had the car. Yeah, he was going really good. Satisfied with third, then? Oh, yeah. We're always, when you come from the back and finish third, you can't beat it here. A great job tonight for Jim Silly. The time's Argus 68. Number two tonight in the Turbo Blue car, Dave Whitkin, car number 25. David, congratulations. That's a great race. It all, Like uh, Jimmy said, it all came down to that final restart. Yeah, that's where it was. I was real lucky on the last restart. I kept it real tight right behind Dwayne. And then Jim just didn't happen to sneak back down in there again. Very workmanlike night for you. Just picked your way through, got him one at a time, and you were there at the finish. Yeah, had some real good luck tonight. Car went real good. So just good lucky night, I guess. Congratulations. Thank you. Dave Wickham, the 25, second place, and he also gets the Bond Auto Charger of the Night Award. Best performance of the night, Casey Craig and Bond Auto for Dave Wickham. And ladies and gentlemen, this guy, he had it on a rail all night long, made no mistake about it. Car number 40, Dwayne Lanfear, your winner. Dwayne, congratulations. We remarked earlier tonight that you were down about 27th place in the international standing, but this ought to help a little bit. It sure will. There's six more of these, and they better watch out. This car is really hooked up. You've had your problems so far this year, but it's dialed in tonight. I tell you, I started off the season about worse I have since I've started racing, and hopefully this will turn things around. I give up Plattsburgh. I'm not racing there so much. And I think it helps just uh, going to one track. <laughs> well, if this car runs like you did tonight for the rest of the year, you're going to be tough to beat. Oh, it went great from the beginning. I don't know what happened to start of the race with my brother, but it all turned out well. I put her to the outside, and I couldn't believe it, how it went. And I'm happy. Congratulations. Great drive tonight. Thanks. Dwayne Lanfear, car number 40, the Morrisville Charger, the defending champion of the International Series, gets victory lane. Yes, sir. I catch hell every time I get down here, and I don't say anything about my sponsor, so I got to thank Arthur's Department Store, Lamoille Grain, South End Sunoco. Mention them or you don't get the check next week. Dwayne Lanfear, ladies and gentlemen, your winner. The big disappointment of the night. Teddy Clark was supposed to start on the pole with the 0-2, but he's a scratch, and that took all the fun out of it for me. The 65 is Steve Craddock on the point. Sean McFarland outside. Ron Lowell in the 87. The 09 is Reg Daly. Bill Herring in the number six machine. Francis Miller, 04. Joe Stephan in the double zero. The number 10 is Skip Patton. 78, Don Lowell. Wes Abbey in car number 53. The 32 of Rick Dennis. Rick Gilliland in the 70. Dean Elward in car number 4. The 54 of Steve Lovely. He got the old clunker out tonight. Left the new car home. And Purple Perry flooding in the 5. 15 laps. Ron Barkham says this is going to be a real quick exercise. We'll see about that. Green flag is out. Craddock, your leader. 09, Reg Daly goes right up the middle, puts somebody out in the middle for each and goes to second. 09, Daly gets leaned on himself. This isn't good. Uh oh, they're fighting. They're fighting. They're fighting. Whoop, there goes the 04. They're still fighting, and Bill Herring says, keep on fighting. Oh, no. Why, those idiots. If I were Bill Herring, Jesus out of the whole bunch. Oh man, yellow flag, yellow flag, yellow flag. Well, for some reason or another, they've elected to try it again. Look at Steve Craddock. He's under green right now. Go ahead. on his lid. Yellow, red flag. Watch this. Red flag. Red flag. Steve Craddock, red flag. Whoa! Hello. 
up, boy. Don't give him a break check. Oh, brother. Joe Stefan, the double zero on his lid. Oh, my. Entertaining. Pick up, buddy. We're going to go racing in a minute. Just a leaner, just a leaner. Purple Perry's out there in the willy wags. Come on, Perp. Come on, Purple, get it going. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Well, Les Abbey's home free unless Purple Perry dumps him, which is about a 50-50 shot right now. Somebody spinning him out. 53, Les Abbey. 65, Steve Craddock. And Don Lowell in a 78 machine. They're just resting up, folks. The minute they see five to go, they're going to start teeing off on each other again. Les Abbey put Purple Perry down one. Steve Cry. Oh, here comes the 32 right up the pipe. Look at him go. The 32, Rick Dennis. Ow! Throw them sparks, son. Rick Dennis is up to the number four spot. Dean Elwood in the four is third. Oh, Rick Dennis has got to dump Dean Elwood, then he'll be third. and a barrel of monkeys, these guys. Pilot, two to go. Les Abbey's okay. He doesn't have to pass anybody. 65, Craddock. Elwood in the four. 78, Lowell. The five is a lap down. The five is a lap down. There, he got him. He got him. Oh, he let him go. He let him go. Guy. White flag is out. One to go. Ooh! I knew it. I knew it. Les Abbey's going to win it. Oh, no, go back up, you lunatic. They're backing up. It's over. It's over. Thank God. Thank God it's over. Oh, man. Skip. Across there, no way. Nope, nope, nope. Why do we have five guys heading for victory lane? We've got five cars headed for victory lane. I don't know what that means. Big Daddy Don Hughes down here. I can see his pink paint right in here where they whacked him. See right here, it's pink. That's a pink Cadillac. Come on, fellas, climb out. It's getting late. All right, we're checking on third, so I'll go to second. Steve? All right, the 10 is third. Let's try and lower the drivers this way, shall we? No, no. The number 10 gets third. Wait a minute, you're not number 10. All right, nobody wants to talk tonight, so the heck with it. All right, do we or don't we? All right. Congratulations, good run. I, I'm not sure how anybody finished. I ain't. How or why? 
<laughs> well, I don't know. It got pretty rough. They really beat it up some. <laughs> Anything left to the front? Nothing left to the back either. Good job. Third place. Second place for Steve Craddock. There, now I'll take your hand. Second spot. Not bad for an old pink Cadillac. Well, they kept telling me, turn left and go fast, and I finally figured out I'd do it a little bit anyways. You've got to get it in the right order. That's half the battle. Good job. Second place. And Les Abbey smiling for the camera. Les, nice job. You had the only plan of the night out there. Get out front and then don't let them hit you. No, uh, that was nice. No dents, no dings, and a trophy. Uh, special thanks to Ed Whitney, uh, Jairus' Toyn. Should be about it. Okay, congratulations. Thank you. Wes Abbey, 53. Uh-oh, here come the legends.